Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Blessing Gaduru. This video is a continuation of various methods of correlation analysis. Previous video taught about the Spearman's rank method of calculating correlation coefficient. Please check the description section of this video on my YouTube channel to get the link to the previous video. Now in this video, we're going to see the concurrent deviation method of calculating correlation coefficient. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get further notification of my new upload. The concurrent deviation method of studying correlation is the simplest of all the methods because the only thing that is required under this method is to find out the direction of change of x variable and y variable. Without wasting much time, let's take a look at the problem we have on the board. The problem says, calculate correlation coefficient between x and y by concurrent division method. There are various steps involved in calculating correlation coefficient using the concurrent division method. Step 1 says, find out the direction of change of x variable. So we denote the direction of change for x variable with the x there are various points to note when finding the direction of change of s variable these points are if the direction of change is increasing you put plus sign if it is decreasing put minus sign if the direction of change is constant you put zero so let's apply this now looking at our x series here comparing the first value with the second value we could see there is a decrease in value. Of course, 17 is greater than 12. And so for the fact there is a decrease in value, we assign minus sign to this direction of change. And here we go now, right? Followed by comparing 12 and 25, we could see 25 is greater than 12, meaning there is an increase in value. And so the instruction is, if there is an increase in value, you put plus sign. Going forward now, comparing 25 and 25, we could see there was neither an increase in value nor a decrease in value. That is to say the value remained constant. And the rule is that if the value is constant, you put zero. And so here we have zero comparison between 25 and 41 we could see there is an increase in value right put plus sign and here we have plus here comparing 41 and 32 obviously there is a decrease in value once there is a decrease in value you put minus sign and so we have minus sign here finally comparing 32 and 51 obviously there is an increase in value so we put plus sign here we succeeded in finding out the direction of change of the s variable step 2 says find out the direction of change of y variable we denote this weight dy in the same manner as discussed in the first step making comparison between these two values 15 is greater than the first value right so here we have positive sign Comparing 15 and 23, we could see 23 is greater than 15, and so here becomes a positive sign. Comparing 32 with 23, 32 is greater than 23, we also have a positive sign here. Moving forward, 28 is less than 32, right? So we have a negative sign here. 28 is greater than 26. Here we have a negative sign lastly we could say 26 and 26 meaning the value remains constant there was no change and of course the rule is that once the value remains constant we put zero this step says multiply the s by the y we denote this row the s times the y multiplying the x by the y there are various points to note and these points are minus times minus equal plus plus times plus equal plus plus times minus gives minus minus times plus we have minus here zero times zero we have plus 
0 times minus we have minus and lastly 0 times plus gives minus and so we are going to apply this points here minus times plus minus and so we have minus here followed by plus times plus plus and we have plus here next we have zero times plus equal minus plus times minus we have minus here next we have minus times minus equal plus lastly plus times zero equal minus and so we have minus here step four says determine the value of c c stands for the number of positive signs obtained after multiplying the x by dy so we count the number of positive signs we have one two right and so we record that now c equal two here next step says determine n n stands for the number of pairs of observation formula to determine n we say n equal capital n minus one all right having said that n stands for the number of pairs of observation we could get by count and here we go now we have the pairs of observations here we have one two three four five six seven so our capital n will be seven n value will be we say capital n is seven we have seven minus one and of course, 7 minus 1 will have 6. And so therefore, our n value equals 6. The last step says, calculate the coefficient of correlation. And here, we are expected to adopt the concurrent deviation method, which has the following formula. Rc equals the square root of plus or minus here, open bracket, 2c minus n plus bracket now over n right looking at our formula rc stands for coefficient of correlation by concurrent deviation method we could as well say c we did say c stands for the number of positive signs obtained after multiplying the s by dy and we got the value to be 2 we also have n here n value is six right we could say plus or minus sign here right the sign to use will be determined by the value of 2c minus n and so we extract 2c minus n now and work with it 2c minus n the value of c is 2 so work with that now we have 2 times 2 minus of course we have n here m value is 6 and so we have 6 here 2 times 2 gives 4 minus 6 4 minus 6 gives minus 2 2 c minus n by our calculation we got minus 2 this is the value of 2 c minus n gave a negative value right and so our formula changes to rc equal minus square root of minus 2c minus n over n right which is equal to minus square root of we did say 2c minus n gave minus 2 as its value and so we'll have our bracket minus 2 over n here n value is 6 is here right minus times minus is plus and so we have plus two here over six moving forward rc will be equal minus square root of we have two divided by six of course that gives one over three minus square root of one divided by three gives zero point three three 3. Square root of 0 0.333 gives 0 0.577. Coefficient of correlation by concurrent division method will be looking at the value we got here 
minus times 0 0.577 we have minus 0 0.577 the x and y shows a moderate degree of negative correlation like persons and the spermas rank correlation coefficient the coefficient of concurrent division also lies between negative one and positive one so we've done justice to this problem by calculating correlation coefficients using the concurrent division method please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell remember your comment is important to us thank you for watching this video bye